Hi, good morning. In this video, we are going to learn about how to calculate paint quantity in Revit. Taking the quantity of a wall, floor, a roof is different and taking a material quantity is different and taking a paint quantity is totally different. Okay, so you can model paint surface as a separate element and you can take the uh, surface area or length of the wall uh, and uh, area of the ceiling you can take so it's up to you how do you want to take it okay so i will give you an idea how revit can calculate paint area in this video we are going to discuss on wall paint area in revit okay so any surface you can paint and the paint uh, quantity you can take okay so here we have a wall and um, for example this is a single wall but we have painted only up to uh, two meters height and we have taken the uh, area of paint okay so if you take this kind of quantity you will surely get a, a better uh, painting area okay so i'm going to teach you from the beginning uh, let's close this file i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to teach you from the uh, beginning let's go to new and um, i'm going to select architecture template any template you can take okay so here now let's create a schedule to calculate paint go to view schedule material takeoff so I am taking material takeoff because I don't want the element quantity, I want the material quantity. Okay, so that's why I'm taking material takeoff. So you should understand the difference between the schedule quantities and um, material takeoff. Material takeoff uh, will give a material name and material uh, area, and it will be specific to a material. So that's why I'm taking material takeoff. And here, I'm selecting multi category because a paint can be um, applied to your wall, it can be applied to your ceiling or a floor, a bottom of floor, or any surface, it can be applied. So I'm taking multi category so that a paint on a door frame, a paint on a column will be calculated all together. Okay, and the name we can give any name. So let's take the name as. Um, paint area calculation okay or paint area schedule paint area schedule and we have to define a phase okay so paint area schedule it's going to be multi category and here we have um, a different parameters so mostly we need material as paint okay take this parameter and let's go to material name material area and then go for unit weight if required we can uh, take a unit weight and volume okay so that you can calculate the amount of paint required so it can be based on in the surface area you can calculate unit weight so make sure that how it works okay that's very important so if you're not sure about uh, how much uh, uh, volume we need for a surface uh, based on the surface area calculation then uh, you can make your own formula to calculate the volume so i'm just going to remove these two okay or so let me show you what these two what are these two okay okay now let's say okay now i'm getting a schedule but i'm not getting any um any data because i'm not modeled anything okay so let's go here I'll go to view and tile views okay this is my drawing area this is my schedule so here i'm going to model uh, some wall okay let's say i'm going to draw some wall so i'm getting lots of 
quantities based on material okay so now what i need i need paint only so for an example i'm uh, i'm going to uh, model some wall and floor okay so build panel is supposed to be in the left okay and the circulation panel is supposed to be in the right okay so this is my build panel we have wall and then let's go to floor and I just draw a floor okay so this is a floor and finish okay let's go to view 3d view so in the 3d view we can paint let's go to modify and then we have a paint tool and we also have a, a split face option to define the uh, surface area in case if you are doing uh, a painting till uh, two meter but the wall actual wall height is three meter then we have to split the face so you have to use split face tool to define um, the surface area of the wall okay so before i do that in the schedule i'm going to filter and i'm going to say material as paint equal to s going to be filtered in the schedule so if i say okay we see we get nothing because we have not painted anything right okay so here i'm going to select all the wall and uh, let's keep it as till level one okay the wall height is four meters you can see here you can read wall height is four meters but i have to paint till two meters only okay let me show you how this works so i'm going to take paint tool okay so here i can take any paint i can take any paint and then i can apply on any surface so even though if it's if it's not a relevant surface we can paint okay any any surface we can paint i can paint on a full wall i can paint on full slab okay so it will highlight before we apply it will highlight so once you click it will be applied okay and material as paint this is a paint name terracotta rain screen and material area 27 meter square so we have two area so this is also highlighting in the model and we can also highlight in the model okay so now now uh, uh, let's say i want to paint till the um, till two meters then i can go to uh, modify then go to split face okay and select any surface so this is the surface i have selected and i can define the height so for example here i want to paint till two meters so i have to define so it's not showing anything in height now let's take a dimension and let's measure Okay, so this is a dimension select and bring it till two meters okay so we have drawn this line this line is supposed to cross from end to end okay so that uh, it will split but it can't go outside the boundary it has to go till the end then finish so now you can see here the area is split okay but it's not connected till the end so for the end we have to split again okay let's go to split face and then just select this this area okay so here i i have to split again okay let's align this line let's align this line oh my god let's align this line 
and uh, finish once it is finished we can we can see the surface split okay now i'm going to apply paint so let's go to paint tool select the paint and then apply now you can see this is applied till two meter so we have to be very clear on what we are painting okay let's finish okay if i hide and you can see here this goes till the end so this should not be the case right then what should i do i have to split the face so we have to be very clear on what we are uh, doing okay so let's draw a line let's draw a line and split this surface and just remove this area now this is removed so we are painting precisely on where we want the paint okay if i give hr release uh, uh, temporary isolate so now you can see here this paint is going till till this end this end so we have to be very careful when we are using this uh, tool but uh, once you apply paint you can get the quantity of paint paint cannot be applied to a um, generic model or model in place component uh, so we have to paint uh, by editing model in place object for example if you go to architecture component model in place any any category you can take and uh, if you are modeling uh, extrusion this is an extrusion so once you finish extrusion if you want to paint if you want to paint you can't paint on the surface of model in place component you have to edit in place and then here you can apply the paint so once you apply you can see here this is not included okay so we have to be very clear on why it's not included because this will not work like this okay so maybe if i release the filter maybe we can we can we can check whether it's including whether it's calculated or not okay so for example select okay so let's add a parameter called model do we have model yeah we have model so what do we get with model okay we don't have anything okay so if i go here edit then if i try to paint see here this is not uh, calculated in model in place so whatever the paint you apply it's going it's not going to calculate so we have to be very clear on uh, on where we are painting okay so if it's a wall if you paint it will calculate and um, set, set a filter set a filter that equals to paint okay so one two three let's say one two three four okay so this is just this area okay so this is how we have to calculate paint um i hope now you have a clear idea about how to calculate paint and um, what we can do and what we can't do with paint uh, schedule if you have any doubt please contact me on my whatsapp number that's all for that's all about this video okay so we'll see you in the next video thank you bye, -bye.